All right, guys, time for what if Piccolo was the main character. Where the last left off, Piccolo fought Golden Frieza and showed him who's boss and got revenge for Frieza hurting his people. Now, let's continue. We cut to Piccolo and Gohan. Piccolo will be training Gohan. Gohan will be trying to get stronger, trying to get better. Gohan's been slacking off on his training since Piccolo, Goku, and Vegeta always had it. But now, he had to get better. Gohan couldn't rely on others forever. He learned his lesson and began to train. And Captain Ginyu was actually helping him. Captain Ginyu and Togemo's body has actually stayed on Earth. And no one fully trusts him yet, but it's been a few months and he hasn't done anything bad. As they kept training more and more and more, eventually they would all sit down and take a break. As Piccolo would say, I'm proud of you, Gohan. I know it's hard and you don't like it, but... Gohan would say, it's fine, I get to hang out with you, and that's what's important. That's why I did things as a kid. I always got to hang out with my friends. Training was a way for me to hang out with them. Sure, I didn't like fighting in general, but the fact that I got to spend time with people, that's what matters. And I get stronger, and that's what the Earth needs. Piccolo would say, I'm proud of you. As they would both smile at each other, then Captain Ginyu would say, it's time to work on our poses. As they would both look at him with an embarrassed look. As that was going on, we cut to Goku and Vegeta. As they were on Beerus' planet, suddenly, someone would arrive. Champa would arrive. As he looked around, Goku and Vegeta both looked confused. As they didn't know Beerus had a brother, Beerus would look at him, and Champa would look at Beerus, and they would begin to argue. And Vegeta and Goku would just stand there. Everything would go like in canon, and a tournament would begin to start. Goku and Vegeta would go to Earth and tell Piccolo and Gohan. Gohan was ready this time. He needed to prove himself. And Piccolo was also ready. With Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and Piccolo, the roster was already starting to look pretty good. They just needed one more person. And that one person would be the great Captain Ginyu. With his power to switch bodies, you know, nothing can stop him. So why not just let him in? They nodded as they let Captain Ginyu in, so the tournament was about to begin. As the tournament began, the first match was Botamu versus Piccolo. They decided to send Piccolo up first, since Piccolo was their heavy hitter. Piccolo looked at Botamu as him and Botamu began to face each other. Botamu was like, <laughs> if you think you could beat me, you have a little surprise in store. Piccolo would then shoot a key blast as it would bounce off from Tamu's body. So, oh, so you're an energy absorption type. I've seen your type before. I have a move just for you. But Tamu would say, oh yeah? What's that? Suddenly, Piccolo would scream as the entire arena began to shake and Piccolo turned giant. This didn't increase Piccolo's power, however, if he was giant, he could grab Butamu better. He then suddenly picked up Butamu as he began to shake in fear and he threw him off the ring, winning. Everyone was shocked, well, Universe 6 at least, as Piccolo then shrank down. Kappa would say, wow, I wonder if Universe 6 Namekians can do that. That's very interesting. As the next match was Piccolo versus Frost. As Frost and Piccolo fought, Piccolo would look at Frost and say, you might as well transform, I know about your kind. Frost would go into his second form, as Piccolo would laugh and say, no. I know that's not your final. Piccolo would turn yellow and push Frost back as he began to pounce on him and beat him. This shocked all of Universe 6. Kyle would say, I never heard of a Namekian who could turn yellow before. He watched in amusement as Piccolo and Frost continued the battle. Frost would go into his final form. As in, Piccolo would say, is this all your power? It's impressive, I'm not going to lie, but it's not good enough. As in... He kicked him as hard as he could as he flew almost off the ring, but he would grab the ring and pull himself up with his tail. Then as Piccolo went in to push him off the ring, Piccolo would feel a weird pinch as suddenly he would start to shake. As Piccolo looked around, his vision became more and more blurry. As he began to shake, he couldn't even stand up straight. Frost would walk up to him and say, you fought a good match, friend. As he smiled, Piccolo would see an evil, menacing smile. He didn't know how, but Frost had to have cheated or something. Frost would then knock Piccolo out. As Universe 7 was confused, so was Universe 6. Piccolo was winning. In fact, he almost won, but then Frost just did something. Hit would be a little skeptical. 
and so would Captain Ginyu. Captain Ginyu would look closer to see what happened. As Frost defeated, Vegeta decided it was time for him to fight. Vegeta would go down and get to the tournament. As Piccolo woke up, Beerus would yell at him, saying, What happened? You had it. You should have gone all out. Piccolo was like, It's not my fault. He cheated somehow. Captain Ginyu would say, I think so too. As they watched, Vegeta and Frost fight would go as in canon until he got caught cheating. This time, Piccolo would get up and say, You damn bastard. I thought you had honor and respect, but there's no honor in cheating, Frost. What kind of martial artist just stabs their way into victory? Frost would laugh and say, oh, like I care what a green man says. <laughs> As Vegeta would then fight Frost and began to humiliate him, torture him, make him regret what he did. As then he kicked him out of the ring. After that, things would basically go the same until Vegeta lost against Hit. After that... Piccolo would decide to have Gohan go up against him. Gohan was training, and even though he wasn't on anyone else's level, he needed a great fight to push him. Hit would look at Gohan. Go into your blue mode. Gohan would say, I, I can't do that. What? Then why are you even here? Hit would then time skip trying to knock Gohan off, but Gohan would grab the ledge and get back up. Hit would time skip and punch Gohan again and again and again and again. Gohan felt useless. He felt powerless. He didn't have God Key. He didn't have anything. He should have went off. He should have trained with Whis. Why didn't he do that? He was such an idiot. Anger began to boil down in Gohan until his entire hair turned white and his eyes turned red as he screamed. But then the power went away. He wasn't angry enough to unlock it. After all, it wasn't like Hit was going to kill anyone. He was just angry with himself. Hit looked intrigued at his almost transformation and said, Master that kid, and you might stand a chance. Then he kicked him off the ring and won. The next match was Piccolo versus Hit. Piccolo would look at it and say, So, I can tell you're the strongest in Universe 6. <laughs> this will definitely be interesting. Hit would say the same thing as he got ready to fight. So, I can tell you've been hiding a power. When you turned yellow, you had some power deep within you. A power beyond that. Piccolo then would turn orange and say, You're very observant, Hit. This will be an interesting fight. Indeed it will. As they both began to fight each other. But as they fought, Hit did time skip after time skip after time skip. But each time he wasn't fast enough to hit Piccolo as he did a time skip. Piccolo would just hit him and would send him back. Piccolo got confused. But little did he know, Hit was building up more and more time energy. Hit would then look at Piccolo, saying, Well, Piccolo, we had a good fight, but it's over. Piccolo would say, What are you talking about? Suddenly, Piccolo would be trapped inside of a prison. Hit would then smirk and says, Each time I time skip, I built up a little bit of energy. Now I trapped you in all of it. Now it's time to knock you out once and for all. Choppa would say, Way to go, Hit! As Beerus would say, Piccolo, don't you dare let him beat you. You are a Namekian. You are a proud warrior. You are the only mortal to give me a true fight in eons. Don't let him defeat you. Piccolo then smirk as suddenly he turned Kaioken with his orange form, which destroyed the time barrier. Piccolo would then say, sorry, Hit. You're a great warrior. But sometimes people are just too far above you. It's not fair. Piccolo would then stretch out his arm as he punched Hit off the ring, winning the match. As Piccolo won, he walked back up. Beerus was impressed. And Champa would say, good luck fighting the Dragon Ball. But as they were talking, suddenly, the Omni King would show up. And everyone was shocked. As Piccolo learned that the god of everything was basically a kid. And that Beerus and Champa were extremely afraid of him. As the Omni King said, we should have a grand tournament sometime. Goku would still say, hell yeah, because it's Goku. And all that stuff would still happen. However, as all this stuff was going on, we cut far away Zamasu Goasu and Zamasu are watching the Universe 6 and 7 tournament as Zamasu watched he was disgusted that mortals could have such power such greatness and that Piccolo fella he will remember him yeah Piccolo will definitely be in handy in the future and that's where I leave things off don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know you think of the video down below and before I go, I just want to say I love you all, and I appreciate you all, and I'm glad that you're all watching my things, and I'm glad I have a thousand subscribers. 
but that watch time's going down a bit so come on guys watch you gotta watch please watch my shit please please watch my shit please watch my shit so my watch time don't reset and i don't become a broke ass b word please watch my shit